okay? I missed y'all. I missed you guys. So we're going to hop in and get you guys a reading. Um, this will be your general love reading for September the 13th through the 19th. This can resonate if you have a Leo as your sun will rising or Venus placements. Do only take what resonates, Leo, and leave anything that is not for you. All right. Let's start off. We're going to hop in and get some spirit messages for you guys, and then we'll go into your love reading. Okay, right, so spirit, give me messages for my Leo. Oh, sun will rising in Venus. Wow. This keeps popping out for you guys. It seems like every time I use this deck, Leo's, this comes out for you guys um, a lot. All right, five, the number five is here, change. Okay, and then bottom of the deck, we got music number 32, which also breaks it down to a five. So I definitely feel like it's a lot of change surrounding you guys um, going into this next cycle. You guys are going to be experiencing a lot of changes. This can be changes within yourself, changes within your environment changes within your relationships i feel like change is definitely going to be around y'all leo you guys might see a lot of five so you may catch like five 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 all the time let's just see what's coming through for my leo with this change wow so we got take time to, to breathe out all right, and bottom of the deck, energy, you're very close to achieving your goal. And I love how this moon seems like so far back. And then this one is just like pow in your face. So I definitely feel like with this takes time to breathe out. Like I say, you guys are experiencing or you have a lot of changes that are taking place around you. Maybe even within yourselves. And with this takes time to breathe out, Leo, it seems like you guys are going to need some space. Okay, going into this next cycle. You guys are very close to achieving your goals. So it's definitely something that you've been working towards or a change that maybe you, you've you actually um, embraced. Some of you guys may not be embracing this, but like I said, whatever this is, this change seems to be a good change. You're, it's like you're very close to, to getting into a level of satisfaction or, or going through this change. You guys are just needing to take some time during this cycle to um, spend time to your to yourselves. Okay, listening to like music that really calms you and soothes you during this cycle is really going to be important. I feel like you guys are going to be connecting to music like on a really, really deep, deep level. All right, so let's see, Leos, what's coming in for my Leos? What are you guys needing to surrender during this cycle? What are my Leos needing to surrender to or offer up to the divine during this cycle? Oh. Wow, and patience. This card just keeps coming out for all of the signs. Um, this came out for Aries as well as Taurus. So some of you guys may be dealing with an Aries, maybe Taurus, or you or your person can have that in your chart. All right, but impatience is here. Okay, so I feel like Leo, you guys may be feeling tested in regards to your patience. Um, like I said, it's a major change that's taking place, and some of you guys are getting like impatient with this process. Like you're ready for it to be over. And that's why this is saying take time to breathe out. So just take a break. Take a step back. Some of you guys may need to just like take a little mini vacation. Some of you guys may need to get out. Like get outside. Go walking. Being out in nature is going to help you guys a lot. Um, even listening to music and just zoning out. Okay. This says my life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So some of you guys may, like I said, um, you may be feeling a little frustrated just because, like I said, there's something that's changing and it's obviously something that you guys are wanting, okay? Um, forgiveness is on the bottom of the deck, Leo. So there's some forgiveness that's needed in a situation. Maybe you guys are on a break from your person. Maybe, like I said, you're just needing some time to yourself to kind of reflect like it's so much going on around you. So let's take a look and see, Leo's, what you guys have coming through. um i'm hearing nobody else summer walker is playing so for some of you guys maybe there's like a change that you guys have been going through for a long time and i feel like there's someone that feels like either you know they want to be with you or you just feel like you want to be with them okay forgiveness is on the bottom of the deck so maybe someone is needing you know forgiveness in a situation while you guys are on this break all right but let's see leo so that's just going to be for some of you guys all right, so wow, look at the first card out. 
Leo's. We got the sun here. So this is really good because this is definitely telling me the energy that you guys are in right now. It's like you're standing in your power. With this hangman hey energy on the bottom of the deck, some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces. I feel like you can kind of feel things are at a standstill or things are not really moving forward. Some of you guys may be feeling stagnant, but at the same time, it's like you're still standing in your power. You're still standing in your energy, which is really, really good. Whoa. We got the Knight of Cups. Wow, the Empress. I love it. All right, we got the Eight of Swords. The Six of Cups. And then the Page of Swords. Exactly. So for some of you guys, Leos, there could be an ending or like I said, a major change that's taking place. This can be within your home, within your environment. Maybe you're moving. Maybe it's something that you're wanting to do and it's taking like a lot of effort. Um, or it's just, you know, become something that has been burdensome to you in the past. I feel like you guys are needing to, to take some time to yourselves, to nurture yourself. Definitely with this Empress energy being here. With this Nine of Cups, I definitely feel like you guys are um, in a space where there's some feelings, some emotions that maybe you want to express. For others of you, there is someone that's coming in that like they may want your forgiveness. This could be a past person with this Six of Cups energy. I feel like there's someone around you that wants to show you like their love, their affection, their attention. This, like I said, could definitely be someone from your past or some of you guys, maybe you're wanting to um, kind of open up like you, you did in the past, okay? With this Knight of Cups, this is a really slick kind of energy. This is a romantic energy, an energy of being charming, very open, very loving. Okay, and then we got the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, some of you guys, maybe um, this is someone from your past. For others of you, it's like you're just really reminiscent or thinking back to like how you were in the past. Okay, with this Eight of Swords energy down here, um, Leos, I feel like you guys have definitely been in a stalemate situation or you've been with someone where either things haven't changed or you've just kind of felt like it's really, really taken a long time for them to come towards you or for some some type of progress to be made, especially if this is in regards to a relationship. Okay, I feel like with the Six of Cups and Page of Swords, like someone is really, really um, reminiscing. They may be thinking about you guys. With this Page of Swords, I feel like they want to reach out to you guys, but at the same time, I don't feel like they have. Okay, so let's see. Why is the sun here? This could also be clarity for some of you guys. All right, so let's see. Why is the sun here? The seven of pentacles. And then the tower. So yeah, you guys have definitely been waiting, okay? Waiting for something with this sun here. Maybe you're waiting for this change. For others of you, you've invested in a situation. Maybe you're on a break or it's just like a period where you're wanting to take some time off, take some time back. Take some time back. <laughs> if only we could. Wanting to take some time to kind of separate. I feel like you guys are seeing something in a different light with this tower here. I feel like something unexpected happens that kind of helps you guys to get out of this um, stuck energy. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? We got the Seven of Wands with this Ten of Swords. So for some of you guys, there is a stalemate situation that you guys are in. And with this Seven of Wands energy, I feel like maybe... Um, and this ten of swords on the bottom of the deck you guys may be going through an ending or it's like you're right in the place where you're you're stuck in a situation and you're wanting to get out of it but maybe you don't really know how okay let's see why's the seven of wands here We got the Hermit. Some of you guys may be dealing with that Virgo. But what this is telling me, the Leos, is that I feel like there's a situation where you guys have been experiencing some stagnancy. Okay, with the Seven of Wands, maybe it's something that you've been trying to, like, you're, you've still been investing or you're, you're wanting to continue to invest in it. Or you're a little defensive about it. With this Hermit here, this is saying, like, you guys really need to take some time, okay, to yourselves. So you can really go inside and figure out, like, is this something that you want to continue to invest in? Or, you know, is it best for you guys to move on to um, something else? With this Hermit energy, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be spending a lot more time in solitude. 
You had eight of swords here. It's something that's definitely weighing heavy on your mind, um, Leos. We got the star that flipped over. For some of you guys, this may be an Aquarius. Maybe you have that in your chart. But I feel like it's something that you guys are definitely investing in or something that you're wanting to invest in. Maybe you're wanting to reach out to someone. This is about healing. This is also about divine timing, divine guidance. Having faith, being hopeful. So you guys are like being hopeful in a situation. Maybe hoping for change. Maybe waiting to see some change. Let's see what this Knight of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. What's the Queen of Wands here? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there is someone or something that you guys are interested in okay with this death here it could be a scorpio maybe you have that in your chart there could have been an ending of some sort or something is just changing tremendously and i feel like you guys are definitely changing with this knight of cups and queen of wands you guys want to reach out to someone or it's like you want to show your love and you want it to be reciprocated okay this could be with a past person let's see why is the six of pentacles here the emperor and then the three of wands. For some of you guys, it's like you want commitment from someone, okay? It's like you want someone to be um, committed to you or you want to take control of a situation with this six of cups. It could be with the past person or something from your past, okay? The hangman came out again. So for some of you guys, this is someone from the past and the situation maybe didn't go anywhere. With this strength here, I feel like, Leo's, you guys... Um, you wanted to, you know, change the situation or you wanted things to go a different way. But I don't feel like you guys stepped up in the past. And I feel like right now it's in a place where you guys are being enlightened or you're looking at the situation differently. Yeah, the Nine of Cups with this Seven of Swords. So you guys are really trying to figure out, like, how to get what you want in this situation because i feel like it's something in the past that didn't go forward but with this nine of cups energy you guys are feeling like this is like a good time okay yeah you have the emperor and the empress wow clarify this empress libra taurus energy queen of pentacles with the will of fortune exactly you guys are feeling like it's the right time Okay, with this page of swords, I feel like maybe you guys are waiting or someone could be waiting for you with this page of swords. I feel like you guys do want to um, reach out to this person or someone wants to reach out to you. That's the page of swords here. Ten of cups, exactly, with this knight of swords. Like I said, someone wants to reach out to you guys or it's like someone wants to communicate with you, okay? Okay. Um, with this Queen of Pentacles, I definitely feel like this is in regards to a serious commitment. Like some of you guys, maybe you want space in a commitment or maybe you're wanting to pursue something that didn't move forward in the past. As I'm saying that, look, Five of Pentacles came out. Some of you guys, there was a separation in the past, so the situation didn't grow or didn't go where like you felt that it could go. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Wow, 10 of wands and then the five of wands. Yeah, for some of you guys, it's like you want commitment from someone. This is what you guys are desiring or maybe this is this person. But at the same time with this 10 of wands and this five of wands, you guys are feeling conflict or you feel like it's a burden or you just feel like it's going to be hard to, to get this from this person. Why is the 10 of cups here? The sun, wow, your energy. Yeah, Leo, something new is definitely coming in. I feel like you guys have a new start coming in. It's something that's going to be coming into the future. Let's see what the blockage is. What's the blockage in this situation? What's the blockage for my Leo? Balance. Okay, wow, look at this relationships here. Like I said, there's definitely going to be a change. 
Okay, this says I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So for some of you guys, it's like maybe you're needed to get yourselves balanced or you want to be balanced before you pursue this person. Okay, or before they pursue you with this emperor. I definitely feel like you guys are going to be boxing up in this situation. Let's see what your spirit message is. Leo. I feel like someone is seeing something differently or seeing someone differently. All right, you guys have a lost in our own equations. Wow. All right, let's see what your spirit message is, Leos. So this says you may be feeling confused at present because something doesn't seem to add up. There is no point in wasting any more valuable energy trying to figure it out. Remember that everything in life is constantly changing. To a large degree, the confusion you feel is a result of you not accepting life as it is. Trust that all unfolds in perfect timing. Wow, just like this impatience says. Okay, this says there is a divine reason and purpose to all that transpires or does not transpire in the world. There is no need for fear that which you cannot control or understand. Let go and live one day at a time. Accept the current events as they unfold. Trust there is always a brighter, a higher purpose and a natural order to all things. You are forever connected to that great source of love from which all creation stems. Meditate and focus on the beauty inside of you. Open your heart and experience the overwhelming love that exists within and around you. All will eventually work out well and peace and clarity will follow. Trust. So, yeah, I definitely feel like you guys were involved with someone where you guys could have got lost in your own, you know, situations or there was a situation when, like I said, things just didn't grow to its full potential. Okay, and I feel like you guys are wanting to, like, restore the balance in this relationship or connection or maybe this is how this person is feeling, Leos. But this is what I have um, for you guys. If you did enjoy your readings, do like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Leos, sending you guys love and light. Bye.